Hello, New School Comic Book Reviews. Okay, let's just jump into it. Today I have... We'll start with Satellite Sam uh, number 9 by Mac Fraction and Howard Chaikin. I've actually been following this series from the beginning. I keep thinking about maybe doing a video talking about the first five issues or maybe the first six issues, but I just haven't gotten around to sitting down and planning it out or anything. Uh, but this issue I really like. I think the plot moves a little bit forward. We get a little bit more insight into the mystery that's going on and some of the drama and some of the melodrama and things like that. For people who aren't aware, basically what Satellite Slam is, it's a period murder mystery. It's set in back, uh, back in the 1950s and the setting is pretty much the backstage goings on at a kid's sci-fi um, sci -fi TV show. Uh, the star of the show has died under mysterious circumstances and his son has taken over the show. And he finds out, he meaning the son, finds out his dad had all these secrets. He finds his dad has tons of photos of women in lingerie that he never knew about. And there's this kind of thing about, well, who was my dad? What's going on? Did he really die the way everybody thinks he died, or everybody just trying to sweep it under the rug? And we also get that. We get a lot of a sense of the kind of, you know, Hollywood politics and things like that. And there's, like, hey, how you doing? And there's lots of, um, uh, you know, backstabbing and double dealing and things like that. Um I like it. I think it's a really intriguing story. Uh, like I said, I've been following it from the beginning, but it is a mature reader's um, comic, and it earns every bit of that tag. There's lots of sex, violence. Uh, actually, there's not that much on-panel violence, but there's lots of sex, lots of profanity. So if those are the type of things that kind of bug you, um, you know, just you know, be forewarned. Definitely keep this out of the hands of children. But I will say this, like I said, the story for the most part is pretty tight and uh, Howard Chaikin's art is uh, a little bit better than it's been in a lot of other comics that he's done in recent years. So, like I said, if you've got a strong stomach, I'd say check it out. Uh, next I have Hawkeye number 19 by Matt Fraction and David Aja. This comic book has been delayed um like something like five or six months this was supposed to come out uh but it's finally here and um it's a solid issue i think a lot of people think the comics is, is pretentious and, and all of this but i but i really don't think so uh, i think it's just a comic book that takes a little chances and really plays with the whole medium of comics this particular issue a lot of the story is uh, told through sign language and it you know and it works it works if you don't know sign language which I don't and you know and it's not like it's all visuals but a lot of the visuals do help uh, tell the story a lot of it has just traditional comic book storytelling with words and pictures and whatnot uh, but like I said it works It's a really solid uh, comic book my understanding is uh, Matt Fraction is going to start wrapping up his run in this comic uh, pretty soon. I don't know if they're just going to continue the comic with a new um, with a new creative team or not, or if they're going to revamp it or just cancel it and have that be it. Uh, but when it goes, I'll be sorry to see it go. I think it did a lot of interesting things, and I think it really showed off how you can do different things in comics, uh, well, comics as a medium, as an art form, and you know, you saw a lot of things here in this comic that you just can't do in a movie, you just can't do on a television show or anything like that. Um, so yeah, uh, Hawkeye, um, solid issue. And next I have New Avengers 21 by Jonathan Hickman and art by Valerio Shitty and of uh, Salvador uh, La Roca. Uh, let's see here. This I actually like as well. I had actually dropped New Avengers a few months back just because I just thought the story was just dragging on. I thought they were just treading water and not really moving forward with the story. But the last uh, last few months, things have really picked up. Uh, basically, we see the aftermath of, well, I shouldn't even say the aftermath, but, you know, we see the Illuminati deal with the Great Society, we see Doc Strange do some kind of horrible things, and we get to the point where they have to make a really tough decision about uh, what to do 
uh, with the oncoming uh, incursions. And um, some people think they can make a certain uh, decision and some people can't. And uh, it's really interesting. The whole point of this comic has never been about the battles or the fights or whatever. It's about how these guys um, deal with having to compromise their, you know, morals or ideas and, you know, what lines they will and will not cross. And I think this uh, comic really showed it. You really got, you also got the spotlight on how it's bothering everybody, but it's especially bothering uh, the Black Panther because he was the guy who walked away from the Illuminati, you know, when they did the other series with Brian Michael Bendis. Um, but now he's in with them, and like I say, you see how it's taken a toll on him as well as the other characters, but mostly him. And uh, really interesting. We get a really cool last page cliffhanger, and I'm really interested in seeing uh, what's going to happen in the next issue. Uh, other new comics I bought, I uh, didn't buy too many of the other new things. I uh, did get Fatal number 24, which pretty much wraps up the series, I believe. I have not read it yet because I still haven't read 23 yet. I do have issue 23, I just haven't found time to make myself sit down and read it. So, um, But I'll get to it pretty soon. And let's see here, and that's pretty much it. i got to thank everybody for listening, and you guys have a great day.